Welcome back to Tales from the Borderlands. We're now on episode four, the penultimate episode. And this is going to suck because Game of Thrones just recently did their penultimate episode. So I'm already on a huge cliffhanger with Game of Thrones, and now this game is going to do the same thing to me. So I'm going to be miserable for the next few months after this. Let's get started. I'm going to check my settings real quick, make sure... Uh, the same thing that happened to my friend isn't happening to me. Where is... Okay, you know what? I'm just going to assume that it's not happening to me because I can't find the option for it. Oh, this is it. Okay, standard. Yes, okay, good. His got turned off for some reason when he played. So he missed the joke last time when Jack was pointing in the corner saying, "What? what is that? When it says Jack will remember this. Escape plan Bravo. What is this guy? S Skeeter? Was that his name? I don't know. Mr. Catch a Ride. What is he doing here? Okay. <laughs> this will be interesting. The darkest moment in any hero's tale usually comes just when things are finally falling into place. Our unlikely heroes have discovered the unfinished, top-secret project of the doomed Atlas Corporation. The Gortis Robot. Searching for the robot's missing components made the dream of the vault seem closer than ever. Even though the former middle manager was still haunted by the demented ghost of Hyperion Pass. Destroy that body while I'm still young. Unfortunately, any dream can quickly turn into a nightmare, and this nightmare's name was Valerie. Fortunately, Valerie's killing spree was interrupted when another dangerous adversary was suddenly revealed as a powerful ally. Now, supported by a legendary gladiator, their search continued through the icy wastes of the borderlands to a forgotten Garden of Eden. There, they found another piece of the Gortis robot, as well as the last surviving man on the Gladiator's murder bucket list. The con artist said nothing as the Gladiator prepared to take her revenge. Lucky for him, it was that moment that Valerie chose to strike. Outgunned and outmaneuvered, the con artist and salary man were forced to surrender. Now, they were working for Valerie, and their first job was likely to be their last. Yeah, probably. Now that's just unlucky. We should find shelter. Looks like we're in for some showers. Oh, awesome. Yeah, let's let's do that. Can't wait. Are you thinking? It looks like you're you're thinking. That suit he's wearing. It looks familiar, but I hmm, I can't place it. Yeah, yeah, I hear ya. What the hell is this guy getting out of all this? I can't figure it out. Story it's at least. Endless barge down memory lane. There's got to be a reason for it. He wants a vault. Why else would he be collecting gorgeous pieces? He's just like every idiot on Pandora looking to strike it rich. Aren't, uh, aren't you kind of, you know, vault hunting now? Are you calling me an idiot? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's what I did there. Yeah. <sighs> that's what I would have said. I feel like we should do something. I would have been like, I guess those, so. Maybe we could lose it. Yes. I don't know. What's he gonna do, huh? 
Shoot us both? <laughs> I seriously doubt that. Don't be stupid. He has a gun. So? He clearly needs us for something. If he wanted to shoot us, he already would have. <laughs> I think all those shots to the head are taking their toll. That hasn't helped. I'm making a break for it. And you should too. Remember, zigzag when you run, okay? Get up. Makes you harder to hit. That sounds stupid. It's not stupid, it's it's genius. Alright. Going on three. No. Nope. Two. Three. Go! <laughs> <laughs> Zigzagging. It apparently makes him harder to hit. Of course. <laughs> what the hell was that? I don't know. Be Zigzag. Into the shelter. Oh god! Oh god! Oh god! Oh. I was not ready for that. That was close. It was, wasn't it? What's that? Is it duct tape? Uh, this again. Clearly, I can't trust you two. Hey, I, I didn't even run. And that's why you're still conscious. So, you just gave away Gordas. She was taken. And you were stuck under Valerie's gun. It was a rocket launcher, okay? It was massive. Even for her. It's Zero! That's our captor! Vaughn? Vaughn! Shut up. That's what I'm going with. Hey! Stop it! Please! Not so rough. Yes, ma'am. There, there, little one. No need to be upset. I'll answer your questions. Please, just promise that you won't hurt anyone. Of course, dear. I don't want to hurt anyone that's being cooperative. Gordas, hey, look at me. It'll be all right. Now, tell me about the Vault of the Traveler. The, the Vault of the Traveler teleports all over the universe, only staying in one spot for a few minutes before blinking away. But once I have my last piece, the beacon that's up on Helios, I can summon the Vault and hold it here, then you collect treasure or something. What does the beacon look like? I... I don't know. But I'll know it when I see it. That's what happened with the last piece. Yep. Well, that's some exciting news. Thank you, Gordas. You're... You're welcome. Can I get away from you now? Of course. But not too far. <laughs> oh my gosh, I can't weigh that much. Just so angry. Yeah. Is this about Athena? You're feeling you guilty. That's what. Leave her alone. You can't blame yourself. Athena Same. made her own bed. Don't you want to talk about it? That's okay. <laughs> Enough about yeah. Athena. Yeah. Let's talk about what you and your friends. Hey, what are you doing with him? Dope. There's no need for guns. I've come to strike an accord. A what? What are the terms? It's rather simple, really. I turn over this Hyperion number cruncher, and you allow me to return to my work unharmed. I knew we couldn't trust you. That's all you want? Yes. I just... Wish to be left alone. I wish Athena got to kill you. Oh, you made that very clear, young lady. Very clear. You've got a deal. Ah, all right, all right. Then I shall make my leave. You're gonna die. He will remember this. I suspected you would. Vaughn! You all right? Ah, I've been better. Now listen up. Under normal circumstances, your rotting corpses would already be getting torn apart by skags right now. 
But these are not normal circumstances. And with that last piece being on Helios, I can't think of a better crew than a pair of Pandoran con artists and a Hyperion stooge to figure out a way to get it for me. What do you say? I think and I'll give you a kill hint. us when we're done. The only right answer is yes. <clears throat> this is not a negotiation. Hell no. There's no way we're working for you. <gasps> oh! Sorry. I think I must have misheard you. Uh, Come again. Uh, hey! What's oh. it gonna be, Fiona? Uh, so we take this out. Hey! You said you wouldn't hurt anyone! No. I said I didn't want to hurt anyone that cooperates. Stop! Yes, whatever you want. Please, just... Just leave them alone. I'm glad we were able to work this out. I'm sorry, Vaughn. Patch up the nerd. Don't want him bleeding out on us. Oh, great. Getting dragged away some more. I should be getting used to this by now. <clears throat> Son. Yeah? Be a dear and help them come up with a plan. Yes, ma'am. Well, Let's get cracking. How's he supposed to help us? Other than his connection with Vasquez, he doesn't know anything about Helios or Hyperion? I'm guessing? And Vasquez is dead, I'm so... I'm telling you, it's not possible. We can't do this. That's not an option. Neither is getting ourselves killed. One way or another, we're gonna figure out how to pull this off. Okay, let's start with how we're gonna get there. Well, this isn't the first time we've okay, had to get creative. Okay, okay, we'll, come on! We'll find a rocket Look, I know what we have to do. Thank you. Alright guys, it boils down to this. Somehow we've gotta to get to Helios, infiltrate Hyperion, and steal Gordus's Volbeacon. Sorry, that was breakfast. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Without getting ourselves killed. No shit, moron. I just said that like 30 seconds ago. Everyone knows what we have to do. We're just trying to figure out how to do it. Okay, okay. If you stop being so negative, maybe we could How's make your tum tum there, buddy? That'll sword. teach you to hit the I taco do, truck. Right now, I don't see how that's gonna happen. Wow, you we'll got the magic, together, kid. They should there bottle the so stuff. Many things that Call it weak wrong. sauce. And that's why we have to drill down no, no, I'm sure every aspect this of the mission. In there oh, somewhere. We just fault? just gotta keep looking. I'm not the one forcing us to go on a deal, suicide Jack? mission. Just I hope stop you, calling you help me, but your constant shit talking is not helping anybody. You gotta face reality. Oh, Reese, you see, you just so sadly mistaken. You don't have a choice. It's helping me pass the time inside your stupid little tiny walnut head. I know that. Then maybe try coming up with a few solutions. Walnut head. I like that. Walnut head. Walnut head. That's good stuff. You know we can't do that. Fine. All right, like I know we've then? had our differences, I, and I'll, I'll admit I can get but pretty grouchy when I don't get my own way. But Who's being to maximize now? our chances, rest? I'm ready to bury the hatchet. All right. It's a metaphorical hatchet, especially because I know I don't really have any hands right now. Oh, which is a real bitch, I tell you what. You help us out, and you can consider that hatchet good and buried. Then it's a deal, Daddy-o. Stick with a verbal agreement, shall we? Yeah, what I'm saying is this, I got your beacon That's somewhere freaky. in my office. Get in there, and it's mission accomplished, baby. I just don't see how we're gonna do this. You don't get that beacon. You're all as good as dead. You're not helping. It's motivation. Oh, great. Captain Obvious wants to speak. Uh, I believe I have some information that is relevant to your interests. The beacon is in Handsome Jack's office. You pulled that out of your ass. Well, check it out, smart guy. Run it by Gordis. Fine. Hey, put the little robot on. Listen, you got access to a map of Helios? I do! See if you can focus your scan for the beacon in Handsome Jack's old office. Beacon detected! We got a winner! I'm sending Reed the location data now. Well, let's see what we have here. Enhance? Oh, so <laughs> you can say it. You're shitting me. I wouldn't know how. <laughs> that sector must be crawling with guards. Hey, give me one reason why you think we could possibly break in. Man. How many people you gotta kill to get an office like that? Bill. A lot. Billions. I 
get that you're scared. Hey, I am too, but working together, I think we have a shot. Great. Sign me up. I don't know how we're gonna get through this. Teamwork. That's how. Then you better have a damn good plan. Oh. It's killer. Behold! Helios! Okay. Now how do we get there? Come on, oh, elaborate well, plan. Helios is in space, so we need a... spaceship. Obviously. Well, we don't exactly have one lying around. Hey, what about Scooter? He said we could call him any time. Well, you got yourself a rocket man, miss! And then it's off to Helios. Come on! Before we dock, I'll tell a vet we've arrived. She'll help us. Why not call her now? Now the less she knows, the safer she is. Yvette, we're back. Awesome, Reese. You're a hero. I'll tell the guards to let you through. At ease, soldier. That's not gonna happen. Then I'll disable the security system. <laughs> That's just insane. I am a living god. Fiona, you'll take Sasha and Gordis and go to the hub of heroism. Now, up on Helios, Jack's office is a museum. Hallowed ground. Not even Vasquez had access. Looks like the only sure access is the VIP tour. Meet your new tour guides. From there, we'll get into Jack's office, where I'll- <laughs> hang on. Uh, you'll need me for that, obviously. Once inside, Gordis will ID the piece. Wow! This place is huge! This way, please! And to the victors go the spoils. Da 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 da! Told you. <laughs> Killer plan. Wait a minute. How are you gonna pull any of this off? Hyperion wants you dead. Then I better go as someone else. What? What? And for the grand finale... Oh, Digistruct of Vasquez. We can do that? Hyperion's gonna want proof that Reese is dead. We'll use Vasquez's body. They'll never know the difference. This could actually maybe work. So, I guess all that's left is pitching the plan to Valerie. She'll go for it. And getting me to Old Haven. And I'll go to Scooters. Wait a second. Hmm? So, how did you figure out the pieces in Jack's office? Don't tell him, princess! They'll sabotage the whole freaking mission! It just... came out of nowhere. Don't do it! You'll only make things way worse. Okay, team, um... Prepare to have your minds blown. <laughs> Handsome Jack is in my head. God for oh, it's Damn. out there! Did you just, just allow me to explain? Hey, when I plugged Nakayama's ID drive into my head port, I kind of accidentally uploaded an AI version of Jack into my brain. But, but it's cool, it's cool. I've, I've got everything under control. <laughs> kind of. What? You had that murdering son of a bitch in your head all this time and you didn't tell us? You asshole. And we thought August was a pro. <laughs> okay, if Jack's really in there, I want to talk to him. You know, just give him a piece of my mind. Yeah, that's not happening. But he'll only talk to me. Oh, how convenient. Well, that went over well. Even your oddly ripped moron sidekick took it better. Anyway, you know how it goes. Snitches get stitches. I just made that up. It's clever. So but when now they you won't slashed question. my ass back there, that was Jack? Yeah. And here I thought of you as a friend. What? Well, I'm honest I'm not with one you. To say I told you so, but uh, I told you so. Oh, good times, huh? Have fun cleaning up your mess. As you have every right to be angry, okay? I, I would be too. I should splatter you all over this fan. I should have told you earlier. I get it. That you're Hyperion scum was just 
Say for argument's sake that you didn't mean to be a lying scumbag and that you understand that you should have shared what is an incredibly vital piece of information. I was scared. So far, so good. I guess. Even if we could somehow trust you again, how can we trust Jack? No more lies. You need to level with us from here on out. Look, say what you will about Jack, but you gotta admit, he saved our asses back at that Atlas facility. Even if what you're saying is true, that doesn't mean we can trust him. Trust who? No, you're not in the circle of honesty. All right, Valerie signed up on the plan. Reese is going with Finch and Kroger. The rest of us are off to Hollow Point to get this thing spacey. Let's get to work. It's okay, they'll come around. August, watch Gordas. I'll miss you! Just hurry up. I don't like being alone with this... thing. <gasps> but I like you so much! <laughs> I would love being alone with Gordas. We'd have so much fun. Hey, have you got a plan for what to say to Scooter? Because he screwed him out of a lot of money for those caravan repairs. He could be angry. I'll just do the catchphrase. And I've heard stuff about what he did to the Zafford clan. He's a pretty jolly guy for someone who just buried another man alive. Just stick to the old con. We're professional racers. He looks like he lives on a diet of car exhaust and old ham. I doubt he'll see through it. He does smell like ham. <laughs> ha! Yes, I live and breathe the fried Fiona. Looking as fresh in her new duds as any gentle lady I ever seen. Come to see your old sponsor, huh? How go the races? I know you sure like going fast, haha. <laughs> Wait, no, not like you're a fast woman or. Oh, shoot. Uh, like racing's just in your veins, is all I'm saying. I'll shut up. Scooter, great to see you. Just an absolute pleasure. Every time I get to see your face, just. Mm. Mm. Go on. <laughs> Nah, you don't have she to go on. To I know my face is about as appealing as a dead dog. Somebody whacked a few times with the tire iron until it popped. But anyway, it's great to see you. What can I do you for? Not saying that I want to do you or nothing. No, it's, uh, well, not that I'm saying I wouldn't either. Uh, would one of you like open your mouths and make with the wording so I can, I can shut mine? I mean, my uncle always said, never open your mouth. I don't remember if he hates Hyperion it? or not. We need your he help. It. Valerie's after us, and if we can't equip the caravan with a rocket and fly to Helios, we're all dead. What? Y'all need me? Oh, man. I've always wanted to be somebody's knight in shining armor, saving all their lives and whatnot. He's not well, curious how we got into the situation. Uh, 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 just let him have this. I'm gonna be a hero! Woo! That all sounds great. Only problem is funding. No, don't worry about it. Valerie will pay for whatever we need to get to Helios, get the Gordas piece, and get out. I understood exactly half those words. <laughs> Let's do it! Oh, wait, when I said that there was only one problem, I meant that there were two? Because look, I know a lot about cars and I know a lot about engines, but rockets are right out of my purview. My business partner knows rockets like you wouldn't believe, but she's, uh... She's a little out of sorts. Oh no. Janie's been like that since she heard about some big vault hunter fight what happened out in the tundra. Athena ain't checked in for a while. She put two and two together. She ain't in much of a mood to do rocket stuff. Maybe you should talk to her, Fee. You're the last one who saw Athena, right? Yeah. But if I'm completely honest, she'll know I'm working with Valerie, who has Athena. Hi, Janie. Hi, hat girl. Athena's not the type to leave just for some random delivery job. She lied, and you covered her ass. I... I really wanted to believe her. I did. But she forgot to turn her echo off the last time we spoke. Oh. I heard the two of you talking. Her echo went dead after the fighting started. I couldn't... What was she doing? Why did she lie to me? She didn't I need want to know. To do this. 
I know she wasn't on a delivery job. Why would she lie to me like that? Why would she leave? She was protecting us from Valerie. It's... It's my fault. If she hadn't been trying to keep me safe, they never would have gotten the drop on her. Oh. Are you angry at me? Kinda, yeah. But thanks for telling me. So what happened to her exactly? I've never seen Athena lose a fight. How'd she get grabbed? She threw me her shield. So long as she's got that shield. I've never seen anyone so much as lay a finger on her. It doesn't make sense. She can't... She was saving my life. Valerie threw two Vault Hunters and her entire gang at Athena, but she held them off. She only surrendered to stop them from killing me. No, she got rocketed to the face because she didn't have hero. her shield. <laughs> I know. Ha ha ha. This is kind of awkward. Change the subject. These nice ladies want us to build a rocket for them? What do you say? I don't know if I've got the parts. Sure you do. Come on. You just got I just to... want to know one last thing, and then I'll see about the rocket. Did she... say anything about me? Before they took her. The way she acted, sometimes I didn't even know if she liked me. Like maybe I was just a fluke or something. She told me to pass on a message. She said she loves you. She did? I... Oh, goodness. Okay. I don't remember if she actually said that. Oh, wow. Young lady, she you are going to have yourself a rocket. And once I'm done building it, I'm going to grab every gun I can carry, I'm going to drive out of here, I'm going to rescue my girlfriend, and I'm going to marry the piss out of her. I'm in. I can probably build you something that'll break Atmo, but beyond that, you'll want a mechanic on board to make sure it doesn't explode on you. Oh man, that sounds like a job for the scooter man if I ever heard one. And considering it's a dream of mine to catch a ride into space and all that, it would be like just... Just wow! I have to what do you him. say, ladies? It's too dangerous. Deal. But uh, okay, I heard one of y'all say deal, so let's go with that. Whoa! Up top, space buddies. <sighs> hey, I'd rather deal with him for a few hours than be stranded up there with a busted engine. Yeah, I guess. You're kind of selfish, uh. Sasha. We should have informed consent. It's a very dangerous job. While Fiona was talking her way into a rocket caravan, I was going to meet up with Wallethead. Fortunately, I had company. I, uh, should have said this earlier. <laughs> Can't believe Fiona let you get stabbed. Don't blame her. She couldn't have known. Valerie was the one holding the knife. This guy has a glad she head. agreed to help when she did. Uh, what a hole in me. I'm not sure how I feel about you going to Helios without me. I think I'm kind of glad. I don't know if I want to get tempted to stay. Then again, it'd be nice to see some people. Yvette, especially. To hell with Helios. Ooh, Helios. Yeah, she just said Helios. <laughs> <laughs> Missed one there. Look, Vaughn, Hyperion never gave a damn about us. You aren't missing anything. Yeah. Yeah, you're probably right. I mean, did you get a little stabbed? Sure. But, look, man, you're handling yourself in ways that I would have never expected. Jumping on Valerie's back like that? That was pretty epic, wasn't it? <laughs> totally. I mean, she beat the living shit out of me right after you left. And I took it! Uh, of course she did, but, but... You saved my ass. I did, didn't I? <laughs> High five! You did. You think I should try and escape while you guys are gone? I mean, if I'm the only collateral she has, maybe it'll help if I'm off the table. Take away her leverage. I mean, obviously running seems dangerous, but yes. sticking around doesn't seem so great either. Look, you make a break for it as soon as you can. It's got nothing to do with collateral. It's, it's about keeping you safe, so... Be careful. Okay. I feel like that was the wrong choice. We'll find you after we get to peace. Because now when we come back and you're not there, I don't know if... Okay. She's going to be saying, oh yeah, if you we'll want him back, we got to hand over the peace. And I don't know if you escaped or not. 
if I told you to play it safe, I would assume that you're not doing something stupid, and then she does still have you. All right. But well, it's all you from here. I'm being honest. Uh, <laughs> I'm not sure I could keep up anyway. Brony, feeling pretty worn out. What with being stabbed and all. Brony. Hmm. Get the broest of bros. <laughs> Just be careful out there, okay? All right. Bomb's here's how die. it's gonna go. The man with the plan right here is gonna track down the corpse. And you are staying here. And, uh, if you ain't back with the goods, you could use your buddy's corpse to get inside Helios. Okay, I get it! Off you go. I'm not the one who splattered your face with corrosive acid. I mean, I am, but you don't know that. All right, Reese. Let's just find Vasquez's body, get back here, and not crap our pants. Oh, you <laughs> are gonna have such a hard on for my office, Reese. It's felt <laughs> huge. Two out of three ain't bad. <laughs> uh, you know what? It's probably not a bad idea to get uh, a little dumpy rocking for some robo scouting. Yeah, yeah. Let the shiny toaster get blown to nuts and bolts instead of us. Dumpy, I need you to go scout out ahead. Can you do that? Good. Uh, that doesn't fill me with confidence. Dumpy, over there. Look at Dumpy go! And do nothing! Uh, back here again. Thought I'd close the book on this weird chapter of my life. Jack! I know you know I want it. <laughs> Probably gonna die. <laughs> Good call, Jack. Yeah, you better run. Yeah. Jack was right. Hey. Ah, oh, really? That's it? I thought he'd be like, I don't know, helpful. Or at the very least, an unwitting psycho decoy so we can escape with our faces intact. It's my face, Jack. Nope. Just a tiny, floating shitty. Wait, wait, wait. Lol, <laughs> I'm sure that's exactly what William Shakespeare said. You see? I told you so. Wallet head. All right, wallet head. Time to show your face back on Helios. Uh, is his face intact? That face, ruins our plans. Face, his face has no face! Oh, you better hope a psycho didn't use it for a skin pizza. A skin pill. Oh, God. What were the pepperonis? A skin pizza. Oh, you clearly haven't been on Pandora mm -hmm. long enough, compadre. Uh, let's find Vasquez's face mm. and get out of here. You're the boss. All right, look, Reese, what happened between you and me, that's in the past, okay? Then stop hacking my eye. It's almost like it never happened. Let's just drop it, okay? 
so we can focus on finding the face. Okie dokie, I'll drop it like a moonshot into a basket full of puppies. No problemo. Why would you moonshot you a basket of puppies? keep an eye puppies. on your friends during this Helios mission, huh? Unlike how you're not keeping an eye on that tripwire. Uh, what? Tripwire. Well, looks like these psychos had themselves a little skin pizza party. Uh, how am I gonna find Vasquez's face? In all this mess. <laughs> That's what an echo eyes for, genius. Scan the faces from a nice stab-free distance. Unless you wanna get up close to physical with some new psycho pals. Alright. I gotta just say this. Jack, you can look out for me however much you want. It doesn't matter to me because I'm your body. Of course you're going to protect me. Until you protect my friends, I don't trust you. Jack, stop it! They, they, the E is backwards on face. Can Dumpy do something? Scanning, scanning, ooh, Vasquez wasn't that ugly. You and me, Pumpkin, let's rock this walk. Whoa, this place is scaring me and I'm a frickin' hologram. Oof, disturbing. Not Vasquez's face uh, disturbing, careful but now. still Wanna disturbing. Careful now, end up psycho dinner. Glad I wasn't invited to this pizza party. Draw a dong on his forehead. <laughs> oh, they literally had a, a face pizza party. Interesting. Jack, I need you to move. <gasps> Disturb huh? sleep pattern? Flawless. Not now. Interrupt, Rem Psycho. Dumpy, attack. Need rest. Big day tomorrow. Swat, man. Dumpy. Punk. Thanks, Dumpy. Oh. Yeah, right back at you. Oh, little baby butt did good. Electroshock therapy. I like that. that that's that's classy. Could have used that little shocker on my ex-girlfriend. Okay, listen up, because I'm about to compliment you. No one ever became a leader without dirtying their hands. Oh, you're gonna get Hugo McSwoopy Hair's face back, no problem. Next stop, Hyperion, baby. Huh. Kinda looks like my ex-girlfriend. I'd actually be okay with that. Sorry, Stacy. Mm, nope. Well, this is a fun night. Looks like it. Oh, looks like we found our psycho. You only see this kind of thing on Pandora. Oof, that is one ugly mug. Um, where, where am I gonna put it? Cram it in your pocket. I don't know. I can't mess up his face or the Digistruck won't work. Just rip it off like a bandage. Quick and painful. Oh, mmm. Okay, just peeling it off, peeling off the face, not going to barf into his mouth with your mouth. Oh. That's it, go on. Peel off that face like a serial killer. You're sick. This actually wouldn't disgust me that much. Oh, no, 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 no. Oh, it's stuck. Mm -mm. 
Oh, God. <laughs> that's so that That is just the, the grossest thing I've ever seen. Oh, God. Oh. I can't stop now. Oh, no, 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 no. Are you kidding me right now? Oh, oh pin pinch it off. Just pinch it oh, off. Right seriously? Oh, please don't do it. Please, please, please don't do this to me. Oh, <laughs> oh. Here we go. <gasps> Smash the baby's face! Crunch its teeth! <laughs> Dumpy! Run! You're the only one running, pal! I can fly! <laughs> so, once I snatched that face pizza, gross, I sprinted out of Old Haven. Hundreds, no, thousands of psychos chased me. Oh, really? That many? Couldn't even count them all. You were too busy trying to save face. Technically, it was one psycho, but he had a bomb strapped to his chest that had the stopping power of like a thousand of... which could... So, one. One. Yeah. Bumpy! Psycho with chest bump. Boom! What? Where's Vaughn? The little bastard bit me then ran off. Said something about a bomb psycho. Oh, yeah. I wasn't expecting to escape that quickly. Yeah. <laughs> oh, wait, dude. I hope that was the arm I already shot oh, off. Oh, we were supposed to bring back the body. Oh, we are still bringing it back. It's just gonna take a little longer to collect now. Think I got some baggies in the truck. Well, we're like Walter White around here, I guess. Seriously, he bit you and then ran? It ain't pretty, but this one fits your budget. Ugh, are Hyperion costumes necessary? Um, Fiona yes. will fit right in with her spiffy new duds, but Sash, you look about as low-down Pandoran as they come. No offense, but if you want to be arrested within ten seconds, be my guest. Hey, here's your disguise allowance. Don't think it'll be a regular thing or nothing. Get yourself something or get Sasha something nicer so she'll quit whining. Don't care either way. Just don't look Pandoran, or this mission will be over before it even started. So, what are you gonna get, sis? All right, let's see what we're working with. Hey, Fiona, the, uh, <clears throat> pricier option ain't too shabby. Plus, I kinda want you to spend all of August's money. Hey! Or whatever, just pick something that says, I look like a stuck-up jerk. Yeah, <laughs> that'll work. From recycled employees? I kind of want to keep my flaming phoenix, so I will get... I like blue, but she looks like higher executive in this one. She looks like she can get more done. So we're going to go with the Onyx Overlord. Alright, thanks, V. I'll try it on in a bit. Hope it's worth the cash. Could have bought a lot of guns with that. We're good. You're up, Saj. Make it quick. Huh. Not bad. Makes me feel like I could drink the tears of a million dream-crushed orphans. I'll fit right in at Hyperion. So, uh... I'm sorry about earlier. So, are we talking about lying about Jack, or when you slapped my... Both. I'm, I'm talking about... Both, because they're, uh, they're, they're, they're related. 
I had just had that fall, and Jack was able to take control over me for, for a bit, and it... Well, it went how it went. Not that that's an excuse. It's, it's just what happened. And I wanted to say I'm sorry. Good job. I'm not even gonna ask. Yeah, it's probably better that way. Hey, is this disguise gonna work? I figure you're the one with the eye for this. You and Vaughn are the only Hyperion I know, and you dress terrible, so maybe I should just take my chances. It suits you. Is that a pun? Oh, no. <laughs> that is hilarious, I get it. Um, I'm just saying that it looks very convincing. It's a, it's a good look for you. Thanks. But I'm gonna be burning these clothes once this is over. Naturally. They cost $750, right. woman! Yours. Thanks, just gotta scan my severed face here. Yeah. Have fun with that. Just get to the skin screen and... Please scan skin. Oh, there we go. Okay, skin scan. Oh, God. Oh, God. Much worse from this side. <laughs> oh. Skin unlocked. It's gonna be droopy. It's gonna be droopy. It's gonna look really dumb. Wow. Uh, that's convincing. Is it? Yeah, I mean, you look like a complete douchebag. Excellent. That is the look I was going for. This is. Oh, definitely weird. Well, it's certainly big. It even looks like Gordis. <gasps> That's Scooter for you. <sighs> I hope Vaughn's all right. I'm sure he's fine. We'll find him when we get back. If he can survive on Pandora alone, he's gonna be like carved out of steel. <laughs> <laughs> Never could have controlled in me Now I can see the light shine Oh, and I know I know it was time to you Say Life can be long Wanna know, wanna know, wanna know, wanna know It's true Oh my gosh, we're almost like an hour into the game and we're now getting to the title. Vaughn's cut doesn't get infected. Uh oh. So did we call you vet?
fee. You gotta see this. Driving. <gasps> hey, you look like you've done that. Like you've done that before. I know it's where we're from, but it's never felt like home to me. I... I didn't think I'd ever see this. Guess you kept your promise. I always do. At least, with you. It looks so... I don't... peaceful. Who'd have thought? We haven't even gone that far, and it... All feels a million miles away. It's beautiful from up here. From up here? Sure. It's a shame we have to go back. Wish we could just turn this thing towards the nearest planet. We'd probably run out of fuel, so it's not a good idea, but... You know, it's an idea. One day we won't have to. We'll be able to pick whichever planet we want. <laughs> I can't wait. I keep forgetting they're here. Once we get the beacon, we'll figure out a way to turn things back in our favor. Any ideas on how exactly we do that? Or are we just winging it? Wing. Again. I know we're good at improvising, but... Eh, we wing it. <laughs> of course we do. When you're good at something, why stop? Hey, watch it. Oh, sorry, man! Just got a wife from me is all. It ain't bleeding or nothing. What the hell is this damn thing? It's a uh, well, it's a satellite. Gonna launch it to to advertise my franchise. You know what they say? Ain't no ad space like outer space. Of all the brands, you pick the one Hyperion hates. We're not drawing more attention to ourselves for some publicity stunt. Hey, there's no Whoa! need for that. Stop it! Come on, man. I gotta get some out of this trip! We won't be alive to collect it if we get blown into dust. We'll talk about it on the way back. Oh, uh, okay. Yeah, I mean, I get it. Prioritizing and all. It's cool. It's cool. Warning. Brain collision imminent. <laughs> Is that a... person? Oh, God. <laughs> Henderson. Impact detected. On center rocket booster. No shit! Tell us something we don't know. Did you know? The damage is critical. Thanks. So this is how I die. I knew it. I knew it! We could really use your advice here. This ship requires additional thrust. Okay. Without additional thrust. The ship will be pulled back towards Pandora. Which is bad. Pretty bad. Yeah. Look, y'all, we need to do some compensating right here, and y'all are in luck, because that's my specialty. Now turn them other rockets up to 11. Good, we have a boost button. Oh, yeah! We're gonna burn! And we didn't even have to charge oh, it. Oh, man, I got like 50 lines I want to say about bolt thrust. It's like a, a jump log jam in my brain! Scooter! Why is the whole ship shaking? No, that's just good. We're running real high right now. Like, kind of scary high. But what? We're going to take it to the limit. Okay, we're about to hit escape velocity. And when we do, you got to shut these puppies down. You hear? Yeah. Yeah, I hear. Do you? How can you hear anything? You just escape heard us. Escape velocity in five, four, three, two, one. Go! <laughs> so then, why are the alarms still going? Now nah, that was just step one. We can't do step two without step one. Booster of rocket failure imminent. What does that mean? They're going to explode. Step two, let's do this! Uh, when are they gonna explode? Very soon. 
What's step two? We get out there and we handle these uncooperative rockets. Oh, right. Step three is us making out. What? Huh? <laughs> what? Huh? <laughs> Those are not airtight. Look, our ears are exposed. What? Uh, don't you worry, your pretty little. Yeah, all of it. Yeah, look yourself. But I'll be walking you through it, though. like Henderson, who didn't have a half a helmet on, which is why he's dead. And we're gone. <laughs> Makes it unstable. Uh -huh. Should I duct tape that? Okay, I'm here. All right, now see that panel there that keeps opening and shutting? Uh, dangerous looking one? Yeah, that's it. Now there's a yellow button in there that you gotta push. That's step one. Right. The button wedged all the way in the back. Oh, you got it? All right. No! What? <laughs> when you press it, you gotta pull your arm out real quick because it's gonna clamp down something fierce. You got me? Be careful. You're almost there. You can do this. Damn it! Keep trying. You have to start going when they're closed. Trap your arm. But this game is stupid. <sighs> And wants you to do it. Left rocket open. stable, Fiona. All right, now pull the last to detach that sucker while we still can. <laughs> awesome. Now get your ass over to my side. Make it fast. Your hand is stuck, uh -huh. isn't it? <laughs> Can't do step two without step one, right? No. Guess my arms aren't quite as long as I thought. You have to detach it with him still on it. Guys, that rocket's at critical. You gotta hurry. No compensating on this one. I can't reach it. No, no, I, I can pull you out. Listen, there ain't nothing you can do that I ain't already tried, okay? This can't be happening. Uh, what's going on out there? Nothing. Don't you worry. Fiona's got this. Hey, hey. You gotta go over there, pull that latch, and cut this rocket loose. There's no time for anything else, you understand? You gotta do it or else the whole ship's gonna go. No, stop, okay? There's gotta be some other way out of this. No, there ain't. Even if there was, there's no time. This baby's gonna blow, okay? That is happening. And you can't be here when it does. Now don't you go feeling all sorry for me, alright? 
people on Pandora be talking about old Scooter for a long time. Can't think of a more epic way to go. Y'all should be so lucky. You're a hero. You know that, right? I kinda am, huh? You are? Well, it feels good. Right Rocket is way past critical, guys! I barely know this guy, why am I so sad? By the way, I stole your money! It's probably him, but you see Moxie or Ellie, you tell him I did some awesome shit, okay? It's been real. That was the first casualty of the mission. The first? There's more? So, what did you do next? What could we do? We had to finish the mission. That's what Scooter would have wanted. He earned this, but it's too dangerous. But he died for us. Which is why we'll respect him by being smart. I know what it is like to lose someone you care about. The worst part is... Scooter was the best of us. He deserves so much better. He was definitely one of the nicest people I met on Pandora. Although that's not probably saying much. Anyway, we didn't have much time to mourn and all that. Things started to get crazy the minute we landed on Helios. I hope I get to put that beacon to good use. So, uh, if that's not it, uh, answering. Perfect. You have entered Hyperion airspace. Identify yourselves immediately. Okay, gang. There we go. I repeat, identify yourselves or you will be shot down. Do not come any closer. We will fire. It's Hugo Vasquez. I'm back. Hugo, huh? I guess we should roll out the red carpet. Uh, for starters, yeah, I'd also like some bubbly chillin' in my office. Just, uh, not too cold, mind you. How about a warm bucket of piss? <laughs> You're lucky good old Hugo has a sense of humor. That's how you climb the Hyperion ladder. It's kind of like the Sith. You just keep stabbing each other in the back. Get inside and disable security. I'll call you when it's safe to come out. Time to put on the game face. I don't think he ever looked like that. You've got some things to answer for. Vasquez. 
Almost seems like, uh, what's the word? Providence? Right. Providence. Well, now, if it isn't Cockknock and Tweedledick, how's about you get out of my way and let me go do my job? I really hope I get an excuse to kill you. Orders are to verify what the hell you are doing down on Pandora. Yeah, take That's it easy, guys. Boss. I just landed. In a hunk of Pandoran trash, no less. With half a loader bot stuck to the top. So, what were you doing down there? Not too often the top brass venture to that dirt pile. I was dealing with the Reese and, uh, Vaughn situation. The who and what situation? Reese and Vaughn, the two criminal masterminds who had the gall to try to rip off the corporation that nurtured them. One of them's really handsome. Huh. Sounds made up. Yeah, but I got, you know, Check very important places to be. So I'll just be... What am I Nah. What do you mean, nah? Here's how it is. You come up here full of piss and bullets with some made-up story about Reese and Vaughn characters. So no, you're not going anywhere. I'll take it from here. You bet. So good to see you. We need to catch up. Bring it in for testing. Testing's not necessary. What you see is what you get. What the hell happened to Reese? This is unbelievable. It wasn't supposed to go down like this. Could we talk somewhere that's less Wait. exposed? We're fine right here. That I'd like to piece. shed more light on the situation. The situation is that you brought Reese back in pieces. Our deal was clear. You were supposed to retrieve his head so management could download whatever the hell was inside of there that was so damn valuable. Now we'll never collect the reward. Cause you lost a critical Hyperion asset. This is on you. You're not even a little sad? I knew it. I thought you were close. That's none of your business. You and I had a deal. But... he was your friend. If you think you can distract me, think again. You had one job, and, well, you blew it. I'm taking you straight to management. Let's see how you like answering to them. I've had it with you. Let's see how big of a smartass you are under questioning. How many baggies would you like? Excuse me? Well, it's just that my colleagues tend to die badly. Anderson, Reese, I could go on. And if things were to go south, I'd like to know your preference. One big bag or a bunch of little ones? Maybe with the cute zip ties? They make them in a million colors. Never start what you can't finish. I'd say I called it, but, uh, ring ring. Standing by in the caravan. Tell us when it's safe to move. The vet's scanning the body, so we gotta hurry. I'm taking over the cameras now. Why is my real voice on? That's a unnecessary computer risk. Child's play. Make security risk. Reese wins. Exe. <laughs> and we're linked. Now for the password. It's changed. Oh. All right, all right. You want to dance? Let's dance. Hey, not bad, killer. Good luck keeping up the pace. Bet that little cyber arm of yours what? getting pretty tired. What? It's child's play, right, pal? Well, the security is a bit tougher than I expected. Now I wrote the program, so let's send an icebreaker into that frozen sea of code, shall we? Jack hacks. 
Jack Hack Jack coming at you, baby. And we freaking rule. And that is not the royal we this time. <laughs> it acknowledges that I ah, breached it. Security cameras have been breached. Now, go forth and lay waste, my son. Just one sec. Let me find you. See what this guy does. Not much, huh? You're gonna fall asleep. Yeah, you're boring me. I, I, what? Fiona, what? I'm in. Nice work. If I do say so myself. Tell us where to go, Reese. Uh, the door's up ahead. Come on, this way. I thought they were supposed to stay put. Okay, we're at the hub of heroism. Great. The elevator to Jack's office is across the atrium. That's where the tours meet. Got it. Looks like it's time to put on our tour guide hat. We only need their badge, and then we're out of here. Although I could use a new hat. Pretending to be a tour guide for a place we've never been and know nothing about. This'll end well. What the hell? Look at these assholes. So proud of themselves. I wonder if they know they're evil. What a bunch of losers. Right. Cha-ching! Oh! Dude, that is not pocket money! What the hell? Handsome Jack Memorial and Tour. It's like they worship. The hell are you doing here? Motivational speaker. Except my gun doesn't talk. Do your job, or you'll hear what she has to say. No, I want to talk to Gordis. Spot our tour guide yet? Not yet. Reese, we need an assist. All right, check in the schedule. Check in the schedule. All right, the guide will be coming off her tour any second. We're on it. Nope, not a tour guide. That doesn't look like a tour guide. Nope. All right, there's a the tour guide. Standard distract and grab. Yeah, when I'm in position behind the tour guide, that's your cue to get her talking. First opening I find, I'll lift her badge. Oh, oh, oh! What about me? Oh, you've got the most important job of all, Gordis. Once I have the badge, you gotta get the tour guide out of the room. Roger that, General Captain Lieutenant Ma'am! Private Gordis is on the job! Can you say it louder? I don't think enough per people hear- Ah, enough people heard you. Can you believe they call that stuff in the cafeteria food? <laughs> That's why I stick to coffee. Hides the whiskey on my breath. A woman after my own heart. Ugh, I've been thinking. If Hyperion served real food, not that Brie hyperhydrated crap. Wait. Oh! Oh, come on. Oh, no, 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 no. Would you care for another glass of whatever it is human drink? Uranium milk, perhaps? Oh, my outfit's ruined! Nice.
Nice. Oh no, this is so terrible. Nothing gets coffee and whiskey out. You. Do you have any idea who this is? A uh, nice tour guide lady? The tour guide lady. Come on, I'll help you find a change of clothes. You know, have you ever considered a management position? I mean, the way you demean that little robot, you'd be perfect. Where do I put in my application? I, I don't think a tour guide is able to promote you to management. Whatever, Hector Hello, is weird. Luis. You have the privilege of speaking to Helios's newest tour guide. Well done. Your criminal instinct shines again. I'm heading up to Jack's office with Gordas. Hi, Reese! Oh, damn it! What? What's happening? They know they've been hacked. I got this, but you need to hurry and keep a low profile. But my face looks nothing like my picture. <sighs> okay. Keep your eyes on the prize. Attention. Helios is on heightened alert. Please report any suspicious activity immediately. That's suspicious. Fiona? I don't like their faces. They aren't moving. Who's this? Uh, she barely looks Hyperion. Mm -mm. Pretty, though. Pretty suspicious. Uh... Nice masks. Oh, you think we'd settle for Promethean knockoffs? This is the Handsome Jack VIP experience, baby! Right. So are you gonna give us the tour or not? Oh, uh... You've kept us waiting long enough. Yeah, let's start the tour already. I don't appreciate your attitude. And I don't appreciate your tardiness. Well, we can't always get what we want, now can we? Handsome Jack always did, and we will too. That's a fair All point. All right. VIPs. Well, get ready for a once-in-a-lifetime experience. For all of us. This is a hologram of Helios. Here we go. The uh, first stop of the Handsome Jack VIP experience. This depicts... Oh, I cannot wait to hear about this. Ooh. Ah! What a scene. Handsome Jack's father... Defeating... Um... What a badass. Cool! Like father, like son, I suppose. The entire <laughs> army of Gremtilius by rolling over it with a giant eyeball. <sighs> what a mess. Whoa, you are totally blowing my mind right now. <laughs> well, I'd say you guys are idiots, but that's a little too obvious, even for me. Quite a sight to behold, isn't it? This, my friends, is... A unicorn. No freaking way. Epic mount, yes! An epic mount that Jack rode into every single battle. And, uh... I wonder if Jack even rode that horse into space battles. <laughs> that sounds dangerous <laughs> and awesome. <laughs> He's so, doing it! Definitely. If you feed it, the stallion will crap high-velocity weaponry. Oh, so this is Butt Stallion. Ooh. Ah, Whoa. okay. <laughs> if you'll follow me, we're on to our third and final exhibit. Oh, I can't wait. Um, uh, yeah, what is this? Ooh. Uh, kind of just looks like a chair. Uh, I think I have one like that in my office. This, ladies and gentlemen, is Jack's chair of champions. He made every great decision from this chair. He ate brunch, lunch, and dinner here. He even strapped it to the back of his diamond pony to prance into battle. Can I sit in the chair? That chair is not for sitting. Sorry about that. I had to leave my chair for a throne, if you catch my drift. 
Wait a minute, that wasn't an exhibit at all. So, why would you tell us that it is? Uh, I think they call people like that liars. Boom, gotcha. <laughs> Good one, right? All right, enough chit chat. Come on through so you can see Jack's office. Step aside and raise your arms. Oh, ho, I knew there was something off about her. Yeah, she was weirdly ignorant for a guy. Yeah, I don't trust her. You're welcome for the awesome tour. Awesome? Yeah, it seemed like you just made up half of it. You ungrateful little poser. <laughs> okay, if posing as Handsome Jack is a crime, then find me guilty. What's this? my watch it was a gift what's in it look for yourself no metal objects next time it's mine understood what's in woo, it woo. <laughs> we're almost there now for the main event even you can't ruin this for me Can you ID the beacon? It's gotta be in there somewhere. Let me look. Hmm. Can't see it from here. Maybe I can just... Wait! Stop! What? Oh boy. I, I... I... I can't believe we're here. Uh... Here it is. Your hero's office. Is it safe to go inside? Uh... It ought to be. I paid good money for this. Uh-uh. I want the full Handsome Jack VIP experience. That means going all the way. Uh, I really wouldn't. Yeah, you know what? We don't need your permission. Force field breach detected. Security lockdown engaged. Thank you for taking the oh my god! Jack oh! VIP oh experience. god! This isn't a we tour! Hope you enjoy it's a goddamn tour. death trap! Goodbye. Okay, uh, let's go. Everybody out. Did he die? I'm not cleaning that shit up again. You got this. That's a heavy duty looking door. This better work. Damn it. Please. No. Sorry, hold on. Yeah? I can't get into Jack's office. What? You gotta be kidding me. You had one job! Oh, come on! Oh, come on! Some moron on the tour tried to go through before the door was deactivated. I, I, I can't seem to get in. I mean, the, the lockdown security system must be on a local grid or something. Now, so I can understand. It means that we need another way in. Okay, okay, we just, I just need to think about this for a second and... Uh, maybe if we, uh, um, um, hold tight, okay? I gotta call you back. Event's here. Crap. That means I'm in trouble. He said to hold tight! You are adorable. <laughs> well, what's he doing in there? Damn it! Get out of my way. Newsflash, asshole. This is my office now. First you give me a body that isn't re- Then you go hacking my computer? What are you doing? You're trying to pull something. I know it. You, uh, really want to talk to me like that? You can't just come back after what you did and expect things to be the same. Sure I can. We had a deal, asshole. I tracked Reese and Bond all across Pandora for you. I refused them supplies when they needed them. And all you had to do was bring me whatever the hell was living inside Reese's head. I knew I shouldn't have trusted you. Of course you betrayed me. You're only out for yourself. I just got back and this is the crap I gotta deal with. You owe me an explanation. Or, failing that, the ticket to the top floor you promised me. But you still haven't answered me. 
why bring a body that wasn't Reese? I can't believe you thought I wouldn't find out. Well, you seriously underestimated me. Valerie's the one who pawned that body off on me. She must have switched corpses. I wouldn't worry, though. Reese is probably still dead. I want his head here. I don't care if he's dead somewhere else. No, you really don't. I have no idea what's going on here, but I don't like it. I'm calling security. Thank you for calling security. You are the agent. Hey, how you doing? Hey, and, uh, get her off that phone if I was you, unless you want to be a bullet sponge. I can have. Yeah, cool. Time to decide what's mightier, the pen or the punch. All security officers are busy. Please continue to hold. I have a dumpy, might as well use it. You're impressed, I know. By your itty bitty friend here? Yeah, right. You and your little floating robotic vacuum thing can both rot in the brig. At least you won't be lonely. You ready for war, Dumpy? Attack that traitor. I'm clicking. Hello? Hello? Ah, looks like you just got dumpied. Too bad there's no assistant vice janitor to clean this up. Fiona, you there? Reese, what took you so long? Do you forget that we have, a, you know, a mission to accomplish? Yvette sold us out to Vasquez. I thought she was our friend. Oh, friends are rare when money's on the table. I'm sorry, Reese. So yeah, Jack's office is on total lockdown, and I can't get the beacon. A little help? Uh, what? I'm working on it. Well, work faster. No beacon means no law. It means everybody's gonna die. At least we're all doomed together. Yay! <laughs> come on, Reese. It'll come to you. <laughs> Jack, it's you your know, office. If I were you with that stun baton, I would have drained the freaking battery on it back. Well, that's not quite true. If I were you, I would have bought Yvette a one-way ticket to Strangulation Town. With a brief stop at making her eyes bug out real weird station. I mean, actually, legally? That's what you're supposed to do to traitors. Yeah, yeah. I wrote it into the bylaws. You're here. Oh, good. Oh, that's so nice of you to... And you were talking to Jack. He might have a plan. He's been right before. If you say so. But he also got shot to death by, like, five vault hunters at once. So take whatever he says with a grain of salt. It's his office. As if there's I another way saying, in, he knows. I'm here to hell. Just surprised a handsome Jack fan like you doesn't know I have a trap door in my office. And let me tell you, you're gonna love it. As long as blood doesn't make you squeamish and, yeah, maybe some brains and whatnot. Just, 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 just to make sure, this... Trap door. Is it a is it a way out door or an instant death trap door? You know, I like to think of it as the best of both worlds. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> but but am I gonna die when I go through it? You know, I'd be insulted if I didn't know you better. Which is it? It's the key to our whole plan. You're gonna need to go in the out hole while someone yanks the lever. It's not as sexy as it sounds. A lot of people died down there. No, oh, what did I agree to? A brilliant plan. With my office on lockdown, climbing up the trap door is the only way in. And you get to do it all from the safety of a prison cell. I mean, I I've heard of some killer plans in my time, but this one takes the cupcake. No, no way. Forget it. This plan is insane. Coming up here in like, a rocket caravan with insane, cheap muscle and anyway. a couple of con artists. That was freaking insane. I'm just trying to make sure we both survive this festering mess of yours. Okay, then. Guess that counts as a plan. Yeah, it does. All right, the first step, though, is to make sure that con artist babe of yours joins you on the prison level and we're golden. You can access the jackhole there. So, did Jack bestow any pearls of wisdom? Yeah, more or less. Well, let's hear it. Hey, Feet, you have got to see the head tour guide's office. The view is 
unbelievable. Not important right now, Sasha. Not now. We gotta change the plan. What's up? You need to get down to the prison level now. Got it. On my way. All right. I'll see you there. Wait, how? I don't have clearance for that. Oh, uh, right. Uh, I don't, uh, just get arrested. Arrested? Yeah, that's the exact opposite of what we've been trying to do. Just do it and do it quick. I gotta go. All right. We do this Pandoran style. Go for the gun crapper. Hey, what do you think you're doing? Putting this horse down. Grr, I'm ready for prison life. I <laughs> uh, didn't work. <gasps> why? Why is it? You didn't see anything. Why is it doing that? Stop fucking! Why is it bleeding? There's there's blood. Why is there blood? I am just filled with strawberry jam. Am I a murderer? I told you, just get arrested and meet Reese. me at Reese, are you there? Vaughn? Vaughn? Look, I don't know if you can hear me, but I managed to get away from Valerie. I'm not sure where I am right now, but I've got some things planned that I Vaughn? Vaughn? Okay, so Vaughn's alive. Talk or walk, ladies. I don't have time for both. You made me and my accounting boys look like idiots with that ten million you stole. It's gonna take years to do all the paperwork. Better. Up to it. <clears throat> Sorry. Just ate a burrito. Never mess with accountants, Vasquez. You can always count on us outnumbering you. Smoke them! Smoke me. Ah! Kagoosh! What the fuck? Kagoosh! We are so stupid! Shoo! <laughs> Got him now. Get him! Bring it on! Bring it on! Bring Here's some more for ya. <laughs> Hope you're not allergic to lead. <laughs> Badass account. Definitely a version. <laughs> Get down! Ah! Ah! This is it! This is the stupidest thing I've ever seen in a video game. <laughs> the janitor agrees.
You know, screw this thing. You saw nothing, okay? Sometimes the light plays tricks. Makes a statue look like it's seeping blood, but it's all just in your head. I know a bleeding statue when I you see one. Nothing. Hey! What's going on here with you all? How's it going? Oh, hi, Reese! Uh, Things are going great! Did you just say Reese? Nothing! Thanks, Gordis. I could have swore you said Reese. Isn't that the name of the dead guy they picked up on Pandora? I'm Vasquez. Not Reese. Not a stupid robot, am I right? Oh. Yeah, based on what I saw upstairs, she's not the brightest tool in the shed. That doesn't make sense. Quiet! So what is it that I can help you with, Mr. Vasquez? Because if it's related to the incident upstairs, this is all under control. Just another case of vandalism on the Handsome Jack tour. Yeah, I've got some heavy interrogation ahead of me with this Pandoran scum. Interrogation? Oh, yeah, you don't do whatever they did and not get some interrogation for your trouble. You know what I'm saying? I guess so. Go on and grab some lunch or something. Hey, I hear the macaroni is good. I got this handled. I wow, Reese can do a good baskets. Let me know if you need anything. Hey, don't Will forget do. to call your mom. And buy more... What? Buy more nice of those. Job. Gordis, I'm sorry. Hey, Gordis, just so you know, I, I, I didn't mean that. I was just acting. I know. You were acting me. It's okay. Why is my heart breaking right now? <laughs> so, what is this plan, exactly? Jack told me about a trap door that leads to his office. We just gotta figure out a way up. No, that's that's a problem. Jack? How can we help? By figuring out a way to shut that thing off so I can get up there. Then I pull you up on the comm so you can identify the piece. Sounds like a plan. Wait! We gotta go up that scary dark hole? I think Reese is the only one. Ooh, that death trap sure looks deadly with you know, it's deadliness and all. Just think of it like a big blender. Oh, that makes like everything better. Yum! People flavor! Mm, not this kind. <laughs> you know what? That, we're even now, Gordis. Hey, Gordis, you, uh, you want to go first? Huh? Yeah? No, thank you! No, aren't robots supposed to obey orders or something? Seems like a fun place, huh? No wonder you're single. I was joking. That's what I meant. Just wait. Soon I'll be your brother-in-law. Who's hungry? <laughs> oh, God. Me! Me! I want to try food! I'm tired of eating electricity all the time. It tickles! Obviously, you've never had gas. else to click on. Great. Oh, not great. All right, I get it now. So, Fiona, I need you to hold this while Gordas boosts me up. It's tough to hurt someone made of metal. Oh no, this is excruciatingly painful. But hey, I'm a team player. Wow. Reese wouldn't let us down. Oh, you haven't been around him as long as I have. Unclear, but it's all we've got, so... There's that. Well, I'm overflowing with confidence. That's the spirit! Alright, Gordis, just give me a little boost up there. 
Wrong! Hurry up, Reese. Okay. Oh! Uh, <laughs> really? It declined from How what is that? essentially the very bottom. Better than I could have expected. Thanks. No problem. Try not to die. Don't let your Reese, arm get tired. You all right? Nope. Good thing I got that puking out of my system. Maybe we should step away. Reese, you can do it. Climbing with your cyber arm should be easy. Easy, right? <laughs> Stupid, nice robot. You heard her. Why? Why? I'm sure nothing bad is going to happen in this scene. You've got some impeccable timing. Hey, I don't know when you gave him the slip, but Finch and Kroger are out there looking for you, and things are gonna get messy if you start messing with us. Don't forget what's on the line here. You get us what we want, what we agreed to, and no one has to get hurt. Look, we had to change plans. There were... complications. Well, let me uncomplicate it. Get the beacon, bring it to me. Yeah, working on it. Good. Coming back down, it's gonna be active. I'm gonna have to pick the right time to jump. Hey, check you out, you made it. In the end, we make a pretty good team, huh? I mean, we had our differences, but... We got here. My office. Well, uh... Our office now. Go ahead. Bask in it for a second. No screaming psychos, no corporate mooks. Just a kick-ass office and a ton of power at your fingertips. Wow. I used to dream about being here. Anyway, where's the Gordis Beacon? Uh, it's gotta be over there somewhere. It's where all the corporate warfare fallout is. Ton of Atlas crap. Soak it in, kid. Enjoy yourself. Stuff at window. Yeah, there's really no rush here. Just help us. Where the guns are cold, the women are warm, and butt slams are your primary method of communication. Gotta love it. The scarred, once upon a time same moon. Yeah, a lot of people said similar things about me. Except, uh, for the scarred moon thing. That'd be weird. Hey, there's my man. What's on your mind? So, what's the point of this office? I mean, from what I read, you spent most of your time running around Elpis or Pandora. Yeah, but it's always nice to have somewhere we can just kick back, put up your feet, fend some subordinates out in airlock. You know, it's like I always say, home is where your airlock collection of valuables is. Uh-huh. You build this office yourself? <laughs> Did I build it? No. No, 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 no. Jack doesn't do that. That desk do anything cool? <laughs> yeah, you'll see. Uh, not in a, in a threatening, I'm gonna kill you way, but more like a, I'm gonna show you in a bit and it'll be awesome. Got it way. I think I'm just gonna take a look around. That's yeah, a spirit. Who's this? Oh, uh, yeah, that's my angel. Don't usually like people knowing about her, but <laughs> you and me are pretty tight. Once we're done with all this vault stuff, I'd like to check up on her. That's cool. You don't screw me over again, and sure. Cute kid. What is this? Ah, it's a piece from an early immortality suit prototype, but it uh, killed the subject, which is great, but just not what we're going for.
There's a ropes here, I can't go down that way. Welcome to my trophy case, huh? Got a couple of killer relics, a few artifacts. Oh, there's a stock certificate signifying that I own Atlas. That's pretty freaking cool. <laughs> Nothing feels better than crushing a company's value to the point where you can buy all their shares with pocket change. <sighs> Delish. Gordis, you there? Uh, hi. Okay. Uh, so I'm gonna show you the pieces now. You let me know which one it is. All right? Uh, we're gonna look at the certificate. So this first. means you own Atlas? Yeah, that's right. I own the whole shebang. This way, I've got the option of building them back up to destroy all over again whenever I want. <laughs> Cowgirl! Yeah, I don't uh, have a cowboy hat. Uh, but that was my girlfriend's hat. Well, her first one before she became a sexy badass sheriff type chick. <laughs> he suited her. Fiona might like that. Definitely not! Oh, this! This shotgun! It's legend freaking dairy! <laughs> Hyperion named it the conference call because you're gonna want to call everyone to tell them how awesome it is! <laughs> Then you kill him. I don't even know what that is. It's... Yeah, yeah, yeah. I go deep. Yeah. <laughs> Belonged to the jackass Earl Tassiter, my former boss. I like to keep that around as a reminder of what happens when you act like a dick to me. <laughs> I hope the deacon looks super cute on me. Negative. It's the ball. So I'll look at it last. Mm, uh -uh. Nope. <laughs> I know this is your office, but uh <gasps> This is my office now? <laughs> cool. I'm gonna paint it rainbow color. Reese, you should get back to finding the piece while I consider some interior decorating options. <laughs> Jack's like Great, I'll be down there in a minute. Okay, see you soon. What is it? Not much to look at. Okay, here we go. The big seat is all yours. You trigger the trap door from there. I have a bad feeling about this. With that gorgeous th so this is where it all happened. If by it all you mean the sex my girlfriend and I had, then yes. Ew. What were you saying about Gordis? I never would have thought an Atlas dongle would be the thing to help us get a vault. <laughs> Nuts. No, no matter how dead we try to make Atlas, they just... Keep on kicking. This is bad. Feels good. That'd be the contact activated dopamine injectors. <laughs> you look like somebody who could kill a bunch of people with a phone call and a little bit of bass in your voice. So tell me how to trigger the trap door. It's behind your pinky. This could be our last chance to chat. You and I. Why? For years, I ruled Hyperion from this room. And now you're here, where it all started. How's it feel, kiddo? There's something to be said for a cushy chair with a bunch of big important buttons that can raise hellfire on people. It feels like I'm sitting in the chair of a supervillain. But you could succeed where I failed. Use our power to make things right, Reese. But nope. say, we shared the power I had when I sat in this room. What would you do with it? Ch 
Jack, you're gonna be disappointed if you what try that with me. What the hell is taking him so long? Reese, the machine is off. Did you get the beacon? We're ready for you. All good. Just getting into position. Gordis, come back over here. Wow, you're all telling me to do the same thing. What's the odds of that? Gordis. You're... I'm not supposed to tell you that. We're kind of in the middle of something. I'll wait. Nope, I can't tell you that either. What about a joke? Yeah, tell him a joke. <laughs> Sorry, that was me. Okay, okay, I'll shut up now. Shutting up now. For reals this time. Beep. I guess that's it. That'll never work. I'm sure she'd like to see you too. Oh, hey, here she is. Oh, no, no. So, if we could wield Hyperion's might together, how would you rule? Hypothetical, of course, but still, you gotta know what you want if you're gonna make it, kid. Like I told you after we escaped Old Haven, remember? I'd fix Pandora. There's some good people down there, and they deserve better than a world full of psychos. Yeah, that's what I wanted, but hell, maybe you'll pull it off. Who knows? You've done well so far. That's what you wanted? You don't seem like to give if a it crap wasn't about hypothetical. People. You ever wonder why Nakayama created me? This whole AI thing? I was supposed to find a worthy successor to the Hyperion throne. And that successor, Reese, is you. If you join me, we could rule together. What do you say, kid? This is the only room with the override port, so if you don't jack in now, you'll never get another shot. I'd say there's no rush, but uh <laughs> Tick tick tick, Reese. Do it! Yes. Yeah? Yeah. Let's do it. Yes! You! You are my favorite dude! So what's next? There it is. That's the executive override port. Jack in, and this will all be yours. Jack in, you get it. Big moment for Suddenly us. Suddenly, this seems like a really bad idea. A long time coming. A lot of people had to die, but we finally made it. No. You know what? Nobody likes a welcher. Let me give you a hand. Ah. Uh. Ring, the machine is off. Did you get the beacon? We're ready for you. Oh, you really shouldn't have told Fiona. Because now, after I'm done with you, well, I'm gonna have to kill him. All, All good. good. Just, Just getting into position. position. What are you doing? God damn it. <laughs> oh, I can't believe how long I was stuck inside that empty little head of yours. God, it's good to be out. Woo! Well, that shit's done. I'm everywhere in the system now. Not to mention my sweet new body. You're a maniac. No, I am handsome goddamn Jack! 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 <laughs> Oops. <laughs> oh my god. That's it! There you are. <laughs> oh my god. Why do I keep listening to Jack? <laughs> I am such a, t a tool. <laughs> um. Oh, it still counts as rejecting. Okay, well. I guess the same thing happens either way. But...
<laughs> oh, I, I'm that I'm not I'm not going to uh, take the cheap way out. I I fell for that hook, line, and sinker. All right, let's see. Um, you and seventeen point two. A lot of people shot the beacon. That's that's really weird, guys. Um, if the plan failed, he would have died for nothing because. You know, his business is not his business anymore. He doesn't care if it's successful. Uh, that's really stupid. I completely disagree with that sentiment. You have a good heart, but unfortunately, your brain's shut down. Life is the story we make out of death. For each hello, a goodbye. Whatever that means. 55.8% of players tried to stop the tour group from dying. Well, yeah... Just because some people are pests doesn't mean you should let them vaporize themselves. But you totally can. <laughs> so nearly half the people who play this game just let them? That's... And these are the same people who tried to honor the dead. Like, come on. Alright, like... Whatever. You're idiots here, you're idiots here. You're an idiot. I get it. 69.6% .6 of players shot an innocent diamond pony. <laughs> If you want to break into jail, sometimes sneaking in is not the preferred way, or the most fun. Yeah, what's up with that? I'm a murderer. I shot gun crapper. <laughs> Revealed Handsome Jack's assistance. Wow, only a quarter of us? And the truth is of dubious benefit. A white lie might smooth things over, but for how long? See, I don't regret it. Um, because now they kind of understand what's going on, and they, obviously, the key to stopping Jack is in his office, because that's where I was, that's where Jack was, that's, that's how it is. Get into his office, break the chair, I don't know. And, I don't know, break the picture of his angel, because he deserves it now. Brought Dumpy out to dance. Well, what about the people who don't even have Dumpy? Because if you don't choose Jack at the end of episode 2, then you don't get Dumpy. So that's kind of a... It's unbalanced because half the people didn't qualify in the first place, I guess. Jack's glory is expanding, filling the arteries of Helios. How can you challenge a handsome, immortal machine? I, I don't think this choice actually matters. I think... Jack takes over no matter what. Well, it was a good episode. It wasn't... At oh. Good one, Jack. It, it, I'm not as cliffhang... cliffhung as I've been in, like, every other Telltale game so far. Still pretty good. Jack is now all-powerful. That That's a thing that happened. Can't wait to see how that ends up. I hope I get to know what happened to Diamond Crapper. Or Gun Crapper. Diamond Pony. I hope I get to see what's in Sasha's box. I hope Vaughn's okay. I hope Reese and Sasha get together. That'd be nice. I hope Yvette dies. I always knew she was a, a jerk. And I swear... Okay. I said this at the beginning of the episode. Our captor is zero. I say that because his mask. It just... I don't know why. It, his mask just suddenly screams zero at me. And the fact that he's hunting Gordis, which is something Zero was doing. It's not exactly a long shot, but it's still kind of out there. But that's that's what I'm going with. Putting all my money on Zero. Now, let's see the Telltale Pets.
No one cares about the people. Let's see the pets. Oh, and I hope I get I do get to shoot the beacon at the end, or at least have something useful. Maybe blow Yvette up with it. <laughs> the bats. Topanga. <gasps> Topanga. The golden dojo loaches. And no scenes from next time. Oh dear. What's this? I don't know. Oh, I can't wait for the final episode. And hopefully some DLC. Maybe uh, we get to see things from the perspective of the last Atlas employee or... I don't know. I just hope we get some DLC. Maybe like a loader bot episode. <laughs> loader bot would be cool actually. And he didn't treat me like a jerk this time either. He didn't really talk to me at all. That's something. Alright, see you next time.